Hi there everybody, this is the Quantum Gaming Uploads. What I'll be showing you today is a new marketplace update that uh, we got yesterday. I'm going to talk about uh, what we got and uh, what I think about it. So let's go. So the first thing you see in the screen is the TBM 930 Libre Pack. So it's like on sale, so it's like uh, 329 which is uh, not bad, but uh, I don't usually fly the TBM because uh, I fly the other planes so I haven't got uh, time for this and I fly the PC-12 most of the time so that's a winner for me so I'm gonna skip this early race but uh, they look okay uh, Mexican Mountain uh, this seems uh, very interesting as you know I got uh, Sedona in the past so this would look uh, very similar to that I'm assuming so that's uh, pretty cool, but yeah, let's check it out. I'm gonna check the Liris out as well, just uh... But yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, for, for that price, I think it's okay. Quite uh, detailed, very detailed. You get people, you get, uh, you can put uh, push planes in there. So that's pretty cool. I like this, it's not bad. I'll think about this because I like the Sedona DLC, so I think about this. This is cool, I like this. Let's go back. Let's uh, check this livery just in case. I don't want to be like biased. So let's uh, check them out. It's uh, yeah, pretty decent from uh, from looks. Yeah, I like this one. This is cool. The blue one. If I flew this plane, I could have uh, bought it, but I don't. I don't. Even before, I didn't fly this aircraft a lot. So it would be pointless to me to get this. But I get it. Why would you get it? Uh, Shark Tooth Ridge. £4.19. Again, this is like scenery. Like uh, camping places or... Yeah, it's not bad either. Looks good. I prefer the other one to this but uh yeah it's pretty cool you get lakes uh, people fishing and all that it's uh, not bad at all yeah i can see how people would buy this you got people there fishing you can park your you can taxi your small plane in there but yeah it's not bad not bad at all that's cool i like new stuff so i'm not gonna say don't get it uh herning airport I'm gonna leave that for that price. Now this is a PC only F22 Raptor from uh, Top Max Studios, so don't count this as an Xbox one. So this is like uh, nearly 30 quid, which is not cheap by any means, but uh, and it's cheap and it's uh, more expensive than the Just Flight version. That one is, uh, I think, is 24.99 instead of 30 pounds. But uh, I'm guessing these are taxis and all from MS, so I can understand why it's 30 quid. But the plane seems uh, stunning. I cannot wait to get this. But I won't get it this week. I'll get it in the maybe next week. I'll see, but uh, I'll definitely get it just to show it. And to fly it, of course, I'm going to fly this a lot. But my PC is having a couple of problems at the moment. You know, my good PC, the one I'm recording right now, is like a kind of a cheap PC. It's got a cheap graphics card, so just to show planes. But uh, I won't show anything on this for looks, because it's not mad. It's like 180p, it doesn't look that great. I'm just waiting for the, my good PC to kind of get fixed from that error. Now, this one. Uh, Global landings, North America, 9.99. I'm gonna skip this. It's pretty cool. You get all these uh, missions, landing missions, and all that. But like uh, seven, seven four seven, and all that. But now nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this. F to Neo. Not interested in this for that price. Monterey Peninsula. This is pretty cool. 11.74 Again, I'm gonna skip it for this week As I already bought a couple of things, so 
going to skip it. Aerodrome. That's okay, I guess. 839. Another kind of a... Cool looking... Uh, oh, this is a cart. That's pretty cool. There's like lots of people around. That's uh, pretty interesting. I haven't seen this sort of stuff uh, before. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can see people landing with a... Uh, Parachutes. I don't know if we would see that on Xbox or I don't know. Is Was this on Xbox as well? Yeah. Uh, Pisa, Galileo. Galileo Airport. Let's skip that one for now. 12.49. I don't know. And this one as well seems pretty cool, but 8.39, I'm going to skip that. Ataturk Airport, uh, Night Enhanced, 839, I'm going to leave that, not interested. Ernesto Cortizos Airport, 1374, I'm going to skip that. Because of the price, the price is just too much. And Valais Alps, Cobain, I'm guessing that's pronounced. Red Wings, uh, this is probably for PC, mainly for PC, because of the helicopter. And all that. Maybe a good area, but on Xbox uh, would be like pointless because of the helicopters. We haven't got the helicopters, but for PC it would be more interesting. But still, 919. I don't know about that. Benico Airport, small airport, 1624. Listen, fellas, Mr. Developers, 1624. Now, Who's gonna pay for that? Honestly, just think think about this for five seconds in your head. Who's gonna pay for this airport? Sixteen twenty-four. I can tell you who. Nobody. So better think again. Make airport seven ninety-nine max, and people are gonna buy it. Sixteen twenty-four. I can buy this aircraft for that price. So sorry. Just adjust your thinking, please, if you can. We work for a living. We're not millionaires. So yeah, if you do listen, okay, if not, then your problem. Uh, Ranjou Bion Airport, 9 Enhanced, 839. I'm not interested anymore in 9 Enhanced, because I don't usually fly at night, but 839, it's quite a big airport, it looks very interesting. Now this uh, F-18 livery pack, this was on sale, it was like, uh, would be maximum I think it was two eighty nine or five dollars maximum on this. This is uh from FSRS uh F eighteen liveries. Like a US Navy pack. This was pretty cool. I like some of these. For that price I think it's worth it. And I love the F eighteen. I fly it a lot. So I do really enjoy this uh liveries. They look pretty cool, pretty cool. I bought this and I showed it on uh, on Xbox. So yeah, very nice indeed, very nice indeed. So definitely recommend this one. It's pretty cool. So now let's talk about this too. Now the Nighthawk, beautiful aircraft. I think for the price is worth it. I think uh, beautiful aircraft. I know it's an F-18 underneath. And the cockpit and everything else, but uh, that's I'm guessing that's how they done it, how they could have done it. I don't think they want to show. I don't think they can show the real thing on any simulation. So they gotta adapt. So for that, I can congratulate them. I love this aircraft. I gave it a 4.9 out of 5, and I still maintain that score. I love it. I flew this on Series S, Series X, smooth. No problems whatsoever. No CDDs or nothing. Uh, the parachute looks f looks phenomenal. The detail I really like. I don't care that it's an F-18. I love the F-18 anyway. But uh, if that's how they had to do it. To bring it in the sim. That's, that's what we're going to have. But still I'll give this a 4.9 out of 5. I love this. This is on par with me. With the F-35. On the sim. I'm going to fly this a lot. And I got to say. 
aerial simulations. I gotta give it to you. Thank you very much for this aircraft. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm sure so many simmons appreciate it as well. So thank you very much if you're hearing this. I cannot say a bad thing about this uh, aircraft. I wanted this for a while, so I can't. Everything seems to work, right? All this stuff opens. Uh, the chute opens correctly. The brakes are nice. It handles nice, smooth. But everything about this looks nice. A couple of liveries, which uh, they didn't have to do, but they did them anyway. That's pretty cool. So definitely recommend this aircraft. This aircraft you need to get. Xbox, PC, anywhere. You need to get this aircraft. I think it's beautiful and it's definitely worth it. Now, the Leonardo M346 Master from India Fox Deco. Another beautiful jet. I love this jet as well. So smooth, flies very nice. Decent price, looks beautiful. And the only aircraft in the sim that you can see the missiles. If you adjust your payload, you're gonna see the missiles. And that was impressive. I never seen that. I think it's the only aircraft in the sim that has that. So I was really impressed by that. So yeah, thank you for this India Fox Deco. And please leave them on. Don't adjust them later. Leave them on. We like to see that. It feels like a jet with the missiles on. So please don't touch them. If you're hearing this beautiful aircraft. Thank you for bringing this to us so quickly. I really appreciate it. Beautiful aircraft. Love it. I gave this one a 4.3, 4.5 out of 5. And I think 4.5 is more fair for this aircraft. Could be even a bit higher. But just to keep it uh, level, 4.5 out of 5. Which is a great score for this jet. Beautiful. I love it. Really cool. Now, on Series X, this flies very smooth. No problems. On Series, series S... It had a few problems, like starter problems. Because um, this jet may be a bit uh, too much for the system. And it cannot handle it. But it flew alright, but uh, you would see a bit of a stutter here and there. But it's not all the way, but here and there you're going to see some stutter. On Series X, it's perfect. On PC, it's perfect. Just on the Series S, it had a few issues. But nothing to stop you from flying. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I think uh, that's everything we got for this week. Uh, we didn't get uh, the Hellcat. So hopefully this is going to come uh, next week. I'm sure it's going to come next week. But it uh, doesn't matter. I'm happy for this week. So we can enjoy this uh, aircraft for uh, this week. And then we can fly the Hellcat next week. Why not? So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Your one and only, Quantum Gaming Uploads. Take care, all the best. Thank you. Thanks for watching.